hi and welcome to this video if you're new to the channel please do consider to subscribe and smash the like button to help the channel to be recommended so as the title of this video suggests i'll be revealing to you how much i got paid this month of october from the trades i made in september on my five thousand dollars my forex bonds evaluation account but before i show that to you I would like to give you some tips to pass your evaluation account. Firstly, be intentional about trading and have a trading plan. I know you must have had this everywhere else and it may seem simple, but it's actually very difficult to practice. It requires discipline and commitment. Let me give you a little backstory. Prior to this account, I have lost about three ten thousand dollars evaluation account in July, June, July, and August consecutively. Most of which were in the phase two or in the first two days of trading the live account. I traded almost every pair without a clear direction of what I wanted. This leads me to my next point. Trade just one or at most two pairs. This may actually sound crazy, but it works. I started seeing changes in my trading when I focused on trading one pair, which was USDJPY. This was what I used to pass my phase one and my phase two and also get my first payout on the live account it's also easier for you to, dis to be disciplined and follow your plan when trading you are paired thirdly always use stop loss i will show you why at the end of this video finally make sure you keep to the my forex fund rule and when trading the live funded account make sure to trade for at least 10 days before the end of the 30 days else you won't get paid when due i actually skipped this last fact on my live account because i hit the profit target in two trading days and left the account dormant till the 30th day when i was then due for payments i was declined and asked to complete minimum 10 trading days which I had to do in a week plus. So this is just a bonus tip if you don't want to lengthen your payment date. So for the big reveal, drum roll please. I was paid $409.44. Which is a cumulative of 75% profit split, my refund of 112%, and bonus of phase 2. I know this is not much compared to the payout we see on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, but it shows that I'm beginning to move in the right direction with those tips I mentioned in the beginning of this video. My actual profit was that I made was $448.70 so 75% of that is $336.53 so like I said I got this trading USDJPY using smart money concept if you want me to make more videos on smart money concept do say so in the comment section below i know the website you're looking at currently might look strange but this is the website my forex funds uses for payout there are actually two payment methods on my forex funds first of which is deal this website you see here which encompasses bank transfers and other options and the second option 
which my forex fund give you is a cryptocurrency option so those are the two options you have whenever you are requesting for payout and those are the two options my forex funds will use to pay you so i choose the deal option and my funds were transferred yesterday i can't withdraw the funds for now from deal until i complete my onboarding verification process that's why this withdraw button here is not clickable yet i'm just 60 percent complete with my onboarding process until i get 100 percent i need to upload my any government issued id and the only one i have is my driver's license which expired in september so i renewed it recently until i get the new driver's license i can't complete my onboarding verification work. but if i had all that document it's going to be a big deal there are like three options to use when onboarding remember when i said you should always use stop loss right well i was a victim of that this morning i actually blew that five thousand dollars account this morning when i wanted to trade i entered the trade on this bullish candle here somewhere here and was already in profit up to this point only for me to get a phone call which was less than five minutes and when i came back because i had no stop loss all i saw was this downward spike that made me breach my forex funds rule in a matter of minutes this downward spike was not actually caused by any news event because i always check the calendar before i start trading any day so it just it was just totally something unexpected that occurred so this proves to you that nothing is actually certain in trading you have to take necessary precautions and measures don't be too overconfident when trading stop loss is actually there to rescue you assuming i added my stop loss here when i was already in profit i could have avoided this but it is what it is my only consolation now is that as of friday last week i bought a new 20k evaluation account and i'm currently in my phase one so i'll be hoping to trade that gradually finish my phase one and enter my phase two but i will keep you guys posted on my progress on that account and i will try to be more careful this time fingers crossed please don't forget to subscribe and like to see more honest content like this have an excellent trading week peace